Hello everyone and welcome to my next reaction to Supernatural. So to be completely honest with you guys, it's been a hot second since I watched Supernatural. Um, the last uh, episode that you saw I filmed before my surgery. This is after my surgery. Um, and you know, I'm still, I'm still kind of in the recovery stage right now, uh, but you guys will be seeing it way, way, way after, but, um, I, I'm just doing a little disclaimer because, you know, typically I don't wait this long in between episodes, so if there's something that, um, I don't remember right away or something like where it takes me a second, uh, bear with me, because it has been a little bit of time. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get into it though, and uh, to continue on in this season, because there is a lot of potential and a lot of um, stuff I want to find out more about. I want to figure out, you know, what kind of happened with Dean and Castiel and, and stuff like that. And, you know, I don't know when we're going to get into that, but uh, at some point, like to elaborate on it just a little bit more. Okay? All right. Let's get into it. Is that it? Is that a hallucination? That's it. Okay. I think you might be hallucinating, babe. Hey. Oh my god. Oh. What do you want? Oh my goodness. The power grid is so whacked out in heaven they don't even know you're not there. So, on the count of three. Wow. One, two. There are no other names. The next generation isn't born yet. Well, I suppose there's no reason to keep torturing you then. Oh no. to get this stuff. Well, that's why I went to an expert. What? Who? I hired a witch. A witch? Off of Craigslist. Oh boy. Her name is Delta Mendoza. Off of Craigslist. You know the rules. Casual encounters. That means no questions asked. Uh, no, Mom, that's another part of Craigslist. How long have you been a witch? <laughs> a full witch? I take my witch business real serious. Mm -hmm. I'm on it, and it's gonna be wicked awesome. Okay. When you woke up on the floor over there, you signs of struggle. No. Smell like sulfur? How did you know that? I can guess. Thanks for your time. Oh. Oh my goodness. Is this... Well... Maybe guilt, grief... Manifesting itself. You saw what? Yes. Oh my god, Dean, look at you being honest. Okay. Where? Right, that made me tear up. Right there. And then and earlier on the road. I think I'm seeing him. It's okay. That's 
not possible. I mean, you said it yourself. You made it out, and he didn't, right? I tried so damn hard to get a sale out of there. I know you did. You know, I could have pulled him out. I just don't understand why he didn't try harder. Dean, if you let it, this is gonna keep messing with you. You gotta walk past it. Or try to deal with it. Maybe talk about it. I don't know. This is advice from somebody who doesn't entirely know exactly what happened. But hey, we might find out. Really? If it doesn't work, thank you for everything. Oh my gosh. Save the hallmark. Oh my okay. god. No. It's no. gonna work. Nobody gets left behind. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, Dean. Hope you enjoyed our orange juice and pancakes. Teleporting us to this mothership. Mothership. You're aliens, right? I love that theory. Let's go with that. I got rights. Where's my one phone call? Wow. <sighs> Truth to be. Oh. All right, that's, that's better. Yeah. <sighs> so I was. What the hell? <laughs> This. I was clear. I need to build an arsenal. This movie just moved one weapon. It's just a little taste of what you'll get when I get paid in full. That was not the agreement. Damn! It is now. Kevin, forget it. Hey, that so it's now just Americans who are. He's here. actually there? He's actually there. Yeah, then I know how we had to scratch and claw and kill and bleed to find that portal and make it through it, and it almost finished me. So, I, so how exactly are you sitting here with us right I, now? I... Dean, everything you just said is completely true. And that's the strange part. I have no idea running and hiding from Leviathan, and then I was on the side of the road in Illinois, and, and that was it. That was it? Yes. Okay, so somebody wanted him out, maybe? Holy shit. Holy shit, like, I, okay. Wow. Wow. I'll see you on the other side. Come with the Somos. Odom Somos. Woo! Okay. I feel like that has to hurt. That has to. Oh. Okay. Wow. Wait. Woo! Oh, boy. Sammy, I remember every second. Of leaving that place. I mean, I remember the, the heat, the stink, the pain, the fear. I have that whole ugly mess right here, and he says he has no idea how he got out. I, I'm just not buying it. So you think he's lying? I'm saying something else happened. I mean, there was no way he was fighting his ass out alone. No way. All right, so who uh, or what got him out? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Better. Listen, you little skank. In the oh. service industry, you always deliver the goods. Then you get paid. Even hookers know that. Hmm. Ah! Says. Mom, did you break the salt line by the storeroom window? What? Of course not. <clears throat> oh. I wouldn't bother, Kevin. Ah! Hello, Delta. Hi. Uh, I did good, didn't I, Your Majesty? Yes, very. Presumptuous twit. Kill her and destroy the makings for the spell. Ah! Yes, say goodbye to mom. There you go! There you go! Fight him! 
I love her. I, lo I love, I love, I love her. So how many have we got, seven? Yeah, uh, Luigi, Justin, Aaron, Maria, Dennis, Krista, Sven. Well, they're prophets. Prophets? And angels instinctively know the names of every prophet, past, present, and future. So this list is the name of every one of them that exists? Oh, boy. Yes, until the next uh, How is Kevin a prophet if Chuck is a prophet? Not sure what happened to Chuck, but, um, he must be dead. So oh. he comes off oh. the if Kevin goes down. They have no idea who they are, of course. Crowley. Insurance. Boy, he's getting desperate. <sighs> Explains all the weird for now. She just killed my mother. Very unfortunate. But to be fair, she was plotting to kill me and my kind. And I think she still is, Buttercup. Better a stupid prophet than a stubborn prophet, as they say, God. Perhaps she doubts that I'm serious. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Wow, Crowley is not fucking around. We need the tablets lately. Holy shit. We gotta move! The portal's closing! So could Cass just not get through? Maybe. I talk to you outside. Wow. It's like you didn't believe we could do it. I mean, you kept saying that you didn't think it would work. Did you not trust me? Dean. I did everything I could to get you out. Everything. I did not leave you. So you think this was your fault? Oh. Oh, my God. Dean. Dean. Oh, my God. He's going to make me cry. Oh, fuck. You can get him back? Hey, Crowley, find you. Oh, I hired a witch and she ratted us out. A witch? Why'd you hire a witch? To make demon bombs, of course. D Duh! These are Kevin's notes. <laughs> you have any idea where Crowley took him? No. But, uh, this guy might. Oh my god! She's so fucking iconic. I can't take it. Talk. Well, oh! Jeez. I'll do it. Wow. Wow. Oh, come on. It's going to be it's going to be okay. Yes. I hope. Sealing the gates of hell. Sastra is there. Oh boy. Winchester. Winchester. You guys got me. Winchester. Back away, Kevin. So this is how it's gonna be. You're not up for this. Maybe you can get it up. You can't keep it up. Oh boy. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Well, I think you wanna take that chance. Woo! <laughs> Wow, Cass! Whew. 
What about us? Call a friend of ours. Garth. He does what we do. Oh. In his own way. He'll keep an eye on you guys. No more going off on your own. You could have gotten yourself killed. Why didn't you wait for me? Well, I didn't get killed. And it worked. And if it didn't? It would have been my problem. Well, that's not the way I see it. Hey, everything isn't your responsibility. Well... Getting me out of purgatory wasn't your responsibility. You didn't get out. So whose fault was it? It's not about fault. It's about will. You remembered it the way you needed to. Look, I don't need to feel like hell for failing you, okay? For failing you like I failed every other godforsaken thing that I can. Oh about. my I god, it. Dean. Pain. Just look at it. Really, look at it. Just felt like he needed to be to just be punished in See, a way. It wasn't that I was weak. I was stronger than you. I pulled away. I didn't want to be saved. Yeah. Oh my God. What are you talking about? I needed to do penance for the things I did on Earth and in Heaven. I didn't deserve to be out, and I saw that clearly when I was there. I, oh. I planned to stay all along. I just didn't know how to tell you. Okay. Okay. You can't save everyone, my friend. You try. Oh, oh my God. Dorothy's gonna lay low with the truck. Ah! What the Hello, fuck? Castiel. Where am I? Oh my God. You don't know. You're home, Castiel. Heaven. I've never been here before. Not many have. My name is Naomi. We rescued you. Consider these chats your repayment. Tell me about Sam and Dean. The Prophet is being kept safe. The tablet has split in two, and the Winchesters are trying to recover the missing piece. Why am I telling you any of this? It's not your concern. Help the Winchesters. Come when they call. You will report into me regularly, and you will never remember having done so. No. What the... I won't do that. Now, as you were, they won't even notice you were gone. Try down the other piece. You're with us on this one, right, Cass? What? I am. I'm fine. And yes, I'm. I don't fine. know that I'm fine, but that's all right. You two are good. Yeah. What? Oh my goodness. Okay, wow, what an episode. And who knew that I was gonna get um, the answers that I was kind of asking about in the beginning of this uh, this reaction. You know, they, they've done a lot of kind of hints about what possibly could have happened in purgatory, what Dean was going through. And I just have to say, my goodness, Dean and... Castiel really, uh, I mean, such a big episode for both of them, but something that uh, I, I just thought the performances were brilliant, um, particularly Jensen in this episode because of the fact that you could tell that there is a, you know, you could almost feel feel that it, it wasn't just that he was grieving for Castiel, you know, there was a guilt thing. Now, it could have been just like a survivor's guilt thing, but he was feeling guilty. He didn't even need to really say it, you know? Um, and again, I, I, I feel like at the time, I'm not like super privy to everything that happened, but it was just so great to figure out um, exactly what happened and exactly what was going on in both of their heads during that. They really brought it out in this episode. I think something that Dean and, and I will say also Sam has have dealt with in um, a lot of the past of the show, you know, previous seasons and everything is their guilt of not doing more, you know, um, and a lot of us as 
fans of the show, as viewers of the show, can say, well, that's not on you, that's not on you. you, you did all you could, it's not all, you know, but it's very hard for them who I feel like are faced with life and death situations a lot. And they do actually save people a lot as well. But when it's somebody that they care about, there's always going to be a moment of, or, or many moments, obviously, of uh, could I have done more? What did I do wrong? You know, what if I did it this way? Why didn't I think of that? You know, I think a lot of us, when we experience some sort of tragedy or, or something like that, or something just goes really wrong and it doesn't have to be maybe as serious as, as somebody losing somebody or feeling at fault for it or whatever, but um, just a lot of us ha have gone through something, you know, where you replay something over and over again in your head and you're like, why didn't I do this? Why didn't I, you know, or whatever. Um, and I think there's an element of that, but I think there's also just an element of Dean has always seen himself as a protector. You know, and sometimes, and we've seen so many times on this show that, you know, he struggles with that with Sam sometimes, where, you know, um, sometimes Sam needs to, to do his own thing and he doesn't need a protector in a certain moment or, we, you know, whatever. And we don't need to hash into all, or, or get into all of that. But, you know, he has always seen himself it's that way. That is where I feel like, um, not the only thing, but a lot of what gives Dean worth is his ability to protect, his ability to save the people that he loves. And this, uh, you know, um, self, I, I really didn't want to say self-hatred, but I guess that it's the best term that I can come up with that he's feeling is, you know, and it's not just with Castiel, he could feel it with Bobby or Ellen or Joe, you know, like there's so many people that he has this, this guilt and he's just like, what's just one more, you know, and, and you can really see even through this, how, you know, desensitized he's gotten to all of this stuff. I mean, we've seen it throughout this season so far that he's feeling a bit detached with certain things. And, and this is just another, um, in my opinion, it, it just example of that, um, of, of what could have caused that as well, you know? Um, but I think that it was so important for Castiel to say, it's not, I stayed, I deserve to be there. I did horrible shit. And as much as you want to save me, I stayed. And I think it's going to be really interesting to see where his character goes throughout the season as well. But, I, you know, very powerful. And I'm glad that, you know, Castiel, you know, it's funny. You know, obviously, when we first met Castiel on this show, he there was so many nuances that maybe he didn't entirely understand. And maybe he still doesn't for some things. But it, it, it is really beautiful to see him say something to Dean that Dean probably needed to hear. Um, if, if for no other reason than just an explanation of what happened, but um, hopefully they can move forward. I don't know, listen, this whole, what was her name, Naomi? I don't know what's going on with that. So we'll see how that unfolds as well. Um, another thing that I weirdly, uh, liked about this episode, which <laughs> weirdly I'll say, uh, is that they really, uh, Crowley's out here being, being a villain. Okay. We listen, I love Crowley. I feel like a lot of people love Crowley watching this show. And a lot of times he can sort of play that role of like, you know, we're working with him and he's kind of funny and he's kind of evil, but it's like, like, you know, but in this episode, he really, you know, was not fucking around and doing the horrible shit. And it's not that it's shocking, but I like the reinforcement of that as, as much as we find him charming and charismatic and all of that. Well, I say we, 
I won't speak for everybody. I find him charming and charismatic and all that. <laughs> um, but uh, I liked that they kind of, you know, they, they're they having these moments where they're like, no, 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 he's still, he's, he's still, uh, you know, on the bad side of things, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, Kevin and his mom, I love both of them. I love them so much. Uh, I would like, okay, if we don't get an episode with Garth, Kevin, and Miss Tran, um, well then, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? I'm just saying. I would like to see it. I would like to see it. Next episode. I would like to see it. Okay. All right. I love that. I, you know what I love about Kevin's mom? Um, I, I, I love the fact that, yes, yeah, she made a mistake with the witch situation, but she has just taken this upon herself. She's like, okay, we're going to figure out, we're going to be super cautious. She has all sorts of, she's got like the turkey baster and the, the water gun. And she, she is doing everything she can um, but she's also, you know, taking initiative with a lot of stuff and everything. Again, maybe not the, the witch thing was, uh, you know, whoopsie doodle. But I think um, I really, really like the fact that she is just all in it. And and I, I really, really adore her and Kevin. And if they die, I'm going to be so fucking mad. Okay? Okay? All right. All right. Um, I think that is about it. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you were here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.